नमस्ते वेलकम टू विद्या क्षेत्र टुडे वी हैव विथ अस रघुनंदन भट्ट एन एमिनेंट हिंदुस्तानी वोकलिस्ट ही हैज बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग फ्रॉम द लास्ट 20 इयर्स ही इज आल्सो टीचिंग आवर चिल्ड्रन एट विद्या क्षेत्र गुरुकुलम he has uh, been accredited as a b high grade artist in air he also has many 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 uh, concerts over 200 concerts to his credit and what i like about him the most are his bhajans uh, his soulful renditions uh, in praise of lord and very aptly he has been uh, entitled bhajan bhushan and there are many other accolades uh, to uh, his credit so uh, once again uh, i welcome uh, ragunandan bhat namaste you, anna <laughs> welcome to the talk you have uh, an msc microbiology degree yes <laughs> and uh, despite of that uh, you chose uh, the music field what are the reasons behind it some history uh, to your music yes, definitely i would like to tell that the divine plan i guess and i am fortunate that it happened as they tell uh, this blessing in disguise mm. so uh, i used to be unwell throughout the year i had this bronchitis or asthma whatever it is and one fine day i just decided that uh, i will just stop taking tablets so then luckily uh, one of my relative was practicing yoga and i just went and joined him and i just did it for like uh, an year or so and then that's how it slowly started you know the mentality changed the way i looked at life everything changed and uh, uh fortunately i uh, got a book which i never and everyone reverses bhagavad gita and uh, i just started reading it i used to hear that there are all the answers in that book I used to think how is it possible but now i don't have any doubts that uh, bhagavad gita has all the answers and that's how the journey started mm-hmm. in that uh, it is written that just follow your true nature mm-hmm. rather than uh, listening to others and till date i was just listening to others and i should do this all those things that's why i used to work in pharma company then when when that happened i was like okay let me stop this and one day i was like i decided that i'll just do music because mm. when i contemplated i felt music is what is incomplete mm. in me and i need to learn it mm. and again there was answer in gita uh, because it tells that if you don't know something go to a person who knows it better mm. they will definitely teach you mm. and obviously i asked my guru ji pandit shripa dehde company he was like uh, okay do come i am ready to teach you and that's it i just uh, quit everything mm. the next day itself i resigned i didn't tell anyone so that's how uh, i started believing in myself mm-hmm. so it's uh, all about a slow transformation it just didn't happen like in one second or something it took time and it it did good and oh. it is still happening yes. so let's see where it takes me wonderful yes. yes so when exactly did this transformation happen at the age of 23 24 or so mm. because i was working in pharma company i worked there for like 3 uh, to 4 months and then after that i, I don't uh, remember dates or years okay. because that's what music has taught me live in that moment mm. music or again the gita yes. that live in that moment so i don't even know because i would like to tell this experience also once mm. uh, when there was a interview going on uh, they asked me from uh, when are you in vidya kshetra i was like maybe it's two years or three years munitana was standing there he was like raghuna sath baras ho gaye like, oh wow <laughs> i mean like i i like that because i don't want to feel that oh so from so many years i'm here it's still fresh the memories are still fresh mm. i feel that i've just joined and it's like with that energy still right. there right. so that's what i want to feel in everything Yes. so uh, this is what music is teaching me <laughs> to be yes, uh, by the way it's been 9 years now <laughs> oh okay see again so i'm still in that moment <laughs> yes okay uh, yes and no. they say music runs uh, in the family so how important is lineage because i know you, uh, you your whole family is into music yes. um, tell uh, tell us a little bit about your family and how that has given you an impetus yes, or inspiration definitely. it it does uh, impact or affects your childhood mm. because every time when you get up you listen to music mm. you listen your your father singing your mother singing brother singing 
so even though you don't like or something sometimes it just uh, just you know fills in your subconscious mind okay. so that's very important mm-hmm. and you would have seen that many people who have this uh, family background are uh, they easily adapt to the mm-hmm. kind of uh, environment mm-hmm. musical environment mm-hmm. so that has definitely helped me but classical uh, training was not there mm-hmm. in my family no one has this classical training even though they must have just gone for one or two class because that time the times were different mm-hmm. Uh, we are really comfortable mm-hmm. uh, at least uh, we have the you know uh, lenience to you know mm-hmm. okay go around and uh, explore, explore. Mm-hmm. but the, those times were very difficult mm-hmm. uh, they just thought about the next generation mm-hmm. and my parents really helped me a lot mm-hmm. in that when i decided that i want to take up music as my career i didn't think as a career mm-hmm. i just wanted to learn music mm-hmm. my father was like okay you have thought now i can't help mm-hmm. just go on so then i quit i went to dharwad i was with my guruji for almost 4 years and that's that's how it started mm-hmm. so so i think uh, there is um, providence you know yeah. uh, after you read the bhagavad gita you yes, found yes. the answer and then your parents supported you, you yes, know yes. so fortunate to have such a parental background yes, and yes. support and so you found the right important. guru also yes uh, true yes. so true. how was it you know how were these four years staying with your guru and learning from him that completely changed i mean like that is the way it should be learned that's what i feel any vidya because uh, we say bharatiya vidya uh, music is just not given some uh, credit ke ha it's a divine thing even if though it's a divine thing you need a guru right and that's what again geeta taught me mm-hmm. and i was like okay i need to surrender myself and i went to my guru Uh, when you go there the first thing what changes is the focus you are focused and you know what you are doing and even though you want to you know deviate sometimes or get distracted guru is there he is like okay where are you going come back so that's the main thing and that's why you have to be there uh, there is no time like one hour slot for music class two hour slot for na uh, it's always there 24 by 7 when he is teaching other students i i am there mm. or i should be there otherwise i am at loss mm. guru ji is not at loss so that's why it depends on student you know how he takes it from guru ji mm. uh, when i went there it's obviously i was focused uh, it, it is an experience mm. it's very difficult to share uh, what i get is uh, it is very important to be in the presence of the guru yes yes and definitely he becomes the pivotal uh, person yes. and even if you are deviating the guru helps you bring back your focus and for a disciple that is the most important yes. uh, i think that is the only thing you need a guru i have mm-hmm. heard sp balsubramanam manyam ji who tell he still had that mm-hmm. i sing i have sung so many songs i have maybe it's a world record that mm-hmm. i have sung so many languages so many songs but still i feel that i don't have a guru mm-hmm. just imagine yes like that that's the uh, impact a guru ji has mm. and you need it so i think so guru is a must mm. and that's how this vidya has to be you know uh, transferred mm. wonderful uh, how how uh, the perspectives change yes, yes. you know when somebody without a guru with such a gifted Gift, voice yeah, yes, yes. like yes. sp ji yes. uh they feel the need the vacuum of the yes, yes, absence yes. of a guru you have been pursuing uh, this art form from a very long time i i think 20 years yes, or so yes. what is uh, hindustani classical uh, singing how different it is from uh, other forms of singing and uh, there are many aspects to it many elements like raga laya taala so can you just in brief uh, for a common man yes. explain what is hindustani classical music Uh, shall i brief about hindustani uh, yes. music first what we do because hindustani music has evolved mm-hmm. and it will evolve right. that's the nature of music and nature itself Correct. it keeps changing mm-hmm. there's nothing which is constant mm-hmm. and that's how it will sustain mm-hmm. we can't tell that we want the original form mm-hmm. even even in our life we follow the same thing we are not like pakka we don't follow a proper regime that okay we have to do this otherwise mm-hmm. uh, we are not following a particular thing changes have to happen it will evolve mm-hmm. and that's how it will sustain so hindustani music has also evolved mm. and for good mm. our ancestors they went through a lot and they you know uh, kept this music mm. that somehow by hook or crook mm. sometime th- you, this should survive mm. we won't survive but the music should sustain mm. uh, later what happened uh, first uh, earlier it was dhrupad style so which you see uh, almost effect on this carnatic music also then slowly after a uh, lot of attacks 
from uh, Mughals, British, uh, it changed into uh, now what we call Khyal music. Mm -hmm. Khyal is a Persian word. That's how it evolved. Now what we sing is Hindustani vo classical vocal. It's Drupad is a different form. What we sing is Khyal style. Mm -hmm. I would like to explain what we do that. First, we explore the small melodic, uh, for example, a rag. Sa re ga pa da sa, sa da pa ga re sa. It's just a five notes. We have seven notes. Sa re ga ma pa da ni, sa ni da pa ma ga re. So, these are seven notes. But when it is a rag, there might be all the swaras also. Now, I am giving example of a five scale rag. Sa re ga pa da sa, sa da pa ga re sa. Now, there is a compound there. You just can't roam around everywhere. That's why it's called Shastriya Sangeet. So, there are two swaras which are very important. Just like in a house, parents. So, Raga revolves around that. In this, Ga, Dha. So, Dha and Ga are constantly Samvad mein hai. Samvad means communication. So, parents are communicating. And they are all roaming around them. The children, other children are just roaming. And that's how you, you know, Oh, samskar chal jate. Ga dha ga sa re ga pa ga dha ga. This is bhoop. You don't have to sing the whole swara. Just tell, okay, this is the family. Okay, this is bhoop. So, first, this is the melodic network. After that, uh, we start with a small introduction. Okay, ga dha sa. Uh, the people get to know that, okay, we are singing bhoop. And then, uh, we start a small cheese. Cheese is nothing but a song. In layman's term, it's a song. But we sing it slowly in our own uh, pace. So it's called Vilambit. Vilamb. Vilamb means late, coming late. So Vilambit is a slow laya. Dha. Dhin. So it's so slow. So you, now you get to know why classical music makes you so patient. That's why, because when we are singing, the laya itself is patient. It's not like dha, din, din, dha, dha, din. That we come to that laya later. But now, it's like very slow. So, slow, the energy is like slow, it starts. So, this is Vilambit. Now, we explore the Raga here. There is Alap, Tan. It depends on the artist. Like, whatever you want, you can do. It start. Alap. Then we come to Tan. There is Bol, Alap, Bol, Tan. It's, it's a deep subject. Let's not go to that thing. It's nothing but exploring a Raga, our idea. That's it. Mm -hmm. Then we have Drat, Bandishas, which are fast. Tha, Din, Din, Da. Something like that. And then we end the... Performance, yeah, mm. with that particular rag. Okay. So, this is Shastriya Sangeet. We mm. can't jump into uh, others' compound like suddenly because mm. I feel Nishad is so you know, melody. I can't do that. <laughs> so, I have to stick to a particular uh, Shastra format. Yeah, that's why it's Shastriya Sangeet. Mm. Wonderful, very okay. well explained okay. you know, and oh. especially the beautiful picturization of parents and the children playing around uh, yeah, yeah. inside the compound. Inside the compound, yeah. The you have format. the liberty to go around, but you should know what are the rules. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, it's a very beautiful picturization, uh, okay. I feel. Many people uh, come to Hindustani concerts and uh, sometimes they don't understand yeah. it. So, how important are the technical details uh, to understand music? I think so, when people don't understand, it's better they shouldn't try to, you know, understand that thing. Mm. Just enjoy. You enjoy music, just come and enjoy. There are many people who just, for example, even I used to go. I used to never understand anything. I used to go, but now the effect is shown. Mm. That's why these things, that's why I told, we won't get to know at that particular time. When we start evolving, slowly the effect starts. Mogubai Kurdikarji, one of the great uh, artists, Unke Guruji, Ustad Aladia Khasa. So he used to tell few things to her. And at the age of 80 of Mogu Bhakrudikarji, mm -hmm. she told her student, Arya Khasa ne jo bataya tha, mujhe ab pata chal raha. So when a student of music tells this, so why should we ask a common man to try to understand the complications of this rag? Just enjoy. New music is for, I mean, like at least enjoy. Now. Mm -hmm. So there are many people who just keep listening to it and then uska chaska lagta hai. Mm -hmm. Then you get that taste. Don't uh, sit and listen, uh, you know, uh, to uh, to Hindustani music at least. Uh, definitely you will sleep. Forget about uh, common people. Uh, mm. Even I will sleep. Mm. Because that's the way. The, the laya is like that. Right. And it's a good sleep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it is not that when people complain that we don't have good sleep. Listen to music and yeah. sleep. You get those, I don't know about that scientific research, this alpha waves, beta waves, mm. all those things. Mm. So, those things definitely help you. Mm. So, uh, what I feel is, don't try to, you know, get into this complication of I don't understand, why should I listen? Or I understand. It's okay. Just go there, sit and enjoy. If you are sleepy, sleep. Mm. 
go to hundred of concerts mm-hmm. then you will start getting that oh that's how culture starts samskara okay. hange barutte you don't get okay one day you attended the concert you decide this is good this is not good no you can't uh, judge anything like that never judge anything like that so let it take time and that's how we want to bring our children you know because one day people there are students who won't like it they they might but slowly i've seen so many changes in student they are like now they can't get away from that mm-hmm. they somehow want to stick to this music mm-hmm. they are busy because nowadays uh, i'm not talking about vidya kshetra who come to me uh, at my private classes they they do struggle papa because they have so many exams mm-hmm. every week exams i mean their their engine brain engine is like always heated up mm-hmm. i can feel that mm-hmm. but still after so many years of telling them you have to continue that it takes time mm-hmm. earlier it was not like that but now they tell tell they discuss they tell you know like um, i don't want to you know stop this music because i i have to study so much and literally they have to study so much they ask me and i tell them okay just do this much that's enough it takes time and if it takes time it's good mm. so don't be in a hurry that uh, today my kid is going to music class tomorrow he'll just sing one song or uh, he'll start performing or blah blah whatever it is let it take time right. let it take time it will just uh, have an effect right. so it's uh, what you're saying about the evolution, evolution of uh, yeah. music evolution. it i can uh, think of a seed which is planted and yes, then a, definitely. you cannot expect a tree which is giving yeah. mango the next yeah, yeah. day yeah so sometimes the next generation you know enjoys right. that fruit right and that's what we are doing uh, what are ustad amir khan sahab they did tapas for 12 years hmm. and he was a prodigy he knew thousands of alankars paltas and all but still he continued it was not that nowadays if you see a child a child who is you know talented we are like okay we have oh he is going to perform she is going to perform all those things nahi mm-hmm. earlier it was not like that uske baad bhi he went he, separately after taking talim for 12 years from a guruji okay and then again 12 years this is also important 12 years of sadhana ye this is important now so 12 years of that uh, they so called tap ek tap yani ki 12 years. 12 years so that is all those things those days uh, days to do mm-hmm. and what they did we are enjoying it now ab hamare khayal style mein we are all getting it because we have heard them mm-hmm. they did tapas for so many years and we just listening from youtube or we are just listening to it and we are uh, okay. yeah adopting in our style mm-hmm. it was their tapas and we are enjoying that fruit mm-hmm. so this is what we have to do and we should be ready for that maybe i have to go through so many things and then after many years our students will take uh, yeah it's, it's, that's what it is the, uh, you know it brings me to a very uh, beautiful uh, point you know uh, what you have told is so beautiful that uh, those people you know our ancestors yes. in the previous generations they did so much sadhana in music yes. and today what we uh, get to listen is uh, thanks to their effort yes definitely so what i see you also you know when you are in vidya kshetra you have some time you are practicing yes. riyas you are yes. doing riyas and this is something that the children have to definitely imbibe yes. because whenever they have time they cannot waste it, waste it yes. you know if you if that is your sadhana if you have chosen music then you better get deep, to the deep end yes. of yes, it yes. not just stay shallow so I, uh, i would like to why why is this important because this creates an environment mm. we can't force everyone do this do that when i am doing it when the guru their guru is himself is doing telling swarabhyas bahut important mm. hai sa are this you have to do for hours you like why should i do that but then when they see me mm. okay hamare guru ji bhi kar rahe hain they feel okay that mm. means there is something i can't keep the, telling them this every class but when they see me doing practically Uh, they'll be like okay i have also to do this and there are lot of changes and uh, this vidya kshetra has that environment it's a big uh, plus point for this uh, vidya kshetra mm. because the environment itself decides the nature of uh, uh, students mm. in other schools there is no environment mm. it's there only for f- 10 minutes 15 minutes or half an hour mm. they sing they go out and it's over but here when the student goes out he listens to flute He listens to tabla. He sees Bharat Natyam. He see that 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 uh, what you told imbibes. Mm. He imbibes that, mm. and that quality is re- required because the sponge we mm. see it absorbs and it keeps it inside. When we squeeze it, then it comes out. That's what is happening now. Mm. It's everything is going inside the student, and that's what we want. Mm. That's I am practicing, and one day they'll realize. Okay, we we still have to practice. Mm. We have come to this stage. 
it's not an end we have to keep practicing True. so that has a lot uh, big effect on uh, students mm. i have seen students just coming and peeping into my room mm. uh, they are just looking at uh, looking at me mm. but they are listening subconscious True. mind is uh, it's at work yes. that time That's and luckily other uh, i would like to thank all other teachers also mm. because they have never told uh, okay anna sal pa disturb aagti de hange no and even sometimes i have seen uh, kids doing the, their small tests whatever yes. they give but still they are fine with it yes. uh, though i am singing at my you know vika sare all those things but that has uh, such a beautiful uh, background to it yes. you know you so, the, the, uh, we need such people right mm. otherwise if i sing somewhere else they like salpa kadme maadi kadme maadi aswala salpa kadme achtira but that is not possible mm. so i am really glad that i am here mm. i am practicing here and if it has a small effect on students also mm. i am really at peace uh, i would like to thank divine uh, force that he has brought me here and i am teaching you here <laughs> i get the time to practice it is our uh, greatest blessing that uh, ragona is with us from day one uh, yes. 9 years ago he came to us you know as a blessing <laughs> and um, uh, i have seen children transform uh, transform especially with their voice uh, with yes, their yes. Uh, attitude towards music towards colors you know all the colors so i think uh, all of you have played a very large uh, role in that uh, really anna so uh, one uh, very interesting uh, part about you anna is uh, your interest in composition and you compose your own uh, music so what got you interested in this and uh, how have you taken it along okay. again it uh, you know as i said it takes into geeta bhagavad geeta uh, in it it's written that you give me how much ever you have whatever you have don't get something from someone else and give it to me you give me water you give me one small petal of flower i will accept it and uh, luckily again uh, it was a gift again it's a gift that you can compose songs mm. and i had that again it's a gift from krishna again that's what i consider because there are a lot of people who sing other compositions and they sing well yes. and people who have already made that composition a hit they have made it, it can't get better than that mm. uh, so what i felt was like okay when i am singing it's a seva it's an offering that's how uh, that's how i think if i'm giving a concert uh, i just don't sing if i'm singing okay this is an offering from my side please accept with people it's not like that they will tell it's not good there's okay but with him it's not like that mm. he will take it good or bad i don't know according to my knowledge i have just sung it with love will, okay he might tell okay or uh, better on i better on and that's what has happened first day uh, when i sang they were like ha okay okay now in in a, any concert i go they ask me for my songs mm-hmm. now that culture has developed that they know that i don't sing at this composition mm-hmm. earlier i have faced that that please do sing you should sing you should sing famous composition will get more concerts like i don't need concerts when i'm singing i need to be you know content mm-hmm. that what whatever i sing it's at your feet that's all that's the main thing people might think that uh, you know uh, he doesn't sing others composition they they think like that mm-hmm. uh, he doesn't sing he thinks his own comp- he sings his own comp- no for me it's my own compositions my own creation so like uh, that is a gift from him and again i'm offering it to him that's all nothing so else mm-hmm. that's all nothing else so i propel my students also to do that mm-hmm. not that they have to do it first learn good compositions mm. definitely get the idea okay this is it this is it then as a student of music you need it's your responsibility to do something better than it yes. create something yes. i remember yeah. how you have uh, encourage children yeah, to make their own raga great compositions yeah. make their own ragas put yeah. bowl to it yeah, and yeah, 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 raga yeah, yeah, to how, you know so, so it, that's it, again yeah it's a beautiful experience for children also yes yes and i wish you good luck with your uh, musical composition yes, yes, and yes, thank may you. may we see many more compositions yes, from you <laughs> thank you uh, coming to the sadhana aspect of it um, i know you have uh, been uh, you know it's learning is a constant process yes. and it never ends and there is no end time uh, yes, yes. for your learning from your guru J- janma janmantara yes. it is just like uh, correct so uh, it it could be janma janmantara yeah. also so um, how how to intensify this sadhana if somebody has chosen a particular kala 
um, what have you learned from your guru you want to pass on you are a, you are now standing in the position of a guru also and teaching mm-hmm. students so uh, and at the same time your learning is Yes. Uh, continuing. continuing yeah. So children are able to see that beautiful aspect also that you know learning is a continuous process. But how does one intensify uh, one sadhana? Uh, one thing is again how you see that particular field, be it music or anything. What I feel is, if you are a music student, see music in everything mm-hmm. and everything in music. So that's how I give examples. So that's how I can connect. to all my students mm-hmm. luckily mm-hmm. and that's again his blessings i don't do anything if i see a person who is good in painting also i give or i uh, give an example in that way mm-hmm. in that particular okay this is the strokes this is the way it goes so for example uh, children do rupa chitra mm-hmm. so i tell okay this is what alankara is the next shape is the same way sa re ga re ga ma ga ma pa. see the design is same so that's how i can connect so that is the main thing and it's personal laka again you can't tell everyone to do that sadhana again it's their choice but telling them again and again that's what is happening here that's the main difference in other schools we have a time limit that uh, i don't know maybe you have to finish this much portions or so many rags if they have hindustani vocal in their school uh, all those things here it's not that so that i can Uh, what do you call infuse infuse, infuse. that culture in them mm. so that's what is happening with me and my students mm. it is not only music right. it is the first the culture pehle mm. uh, uh, zakir hosain ji a tablist uh, he told mere pita ji ne tabla chhune ke liye nahi diya mujhe why mm. because they used to talk at midnight about how music started what happened ma saraswati ne ye kiya shiv ji ne ye kiya I mean, like first pass on the culture. Tell them what is the important uh, importance of that. Mm. Then slowly infuse that music. Okay, ah, ye hai. Now I can see so many students who have uh, been with me for so many years. The change in their uh, approach. They just don't do it because music, or I have to do it. Mm. No, I can see that transformation, mm. and that's one big thing. And that's what will be transformed to the next generation also. so that's why the time is very important mm-hmm. if if we just tell okay that's why i was like nothing can be you know done like this mm-hmm. so give it time and uh, it will happen maybe at that time i will be there or it i am not there but it is going to happen it's a process mm-hmm. just the way i we are enjoying what you have given have those samskaras yes. yeah samskaras then it will fructify yeah fructify mm-hmm. and now there that's why it's not only the music mm-hmm. or uh, whatever whatever subject you are teaching mm-hmm. you it's not only like you know ye maths hai physics hai mm-hmm. bas nahi you have to give the overall picture right. and in that you get all this field right. in music i can see physics i can see chemistry today i gave one example mm-hmm. uh, about chemistry some i don't know uh, maybe it's chemistry or something mm-hmm. may correct me if i'm mm-hmm. wrong it's uh, like just coming maybe electrons coming and falling into the center gare 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 sada so the center is this centrifugal and, uh, yeah gare 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 sada so this is how i can i can imagine so that's one more thing if you are a music student imagine sometimes if you are wrong okay someone else will correct you maybe if i was wrong in this chemistry or physics whatever it is but at least i could imagine it properly that that thing so imagine let it be the weirdest thing whatever you want to imagine imagine so first that thing is important and first listening is important listen 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 to uh, whoever is singing listen to the guru for n number of years for few months it's okay you'll get it be patient so first listen listen then observe because when you slow start observing you go within that is the subconscious mind starts getting activated and this these things you know affect in this sadhana it is not that okay sare ga pa da sa da pa ga re sa chalo karo this is not sadhana like you do it so many times sadhana is when you feel that you are lacking something you go out you uh, you know cut all these ties from the world and just focus on that that is sadhana and that should grow in our students that feeling should come come in our students yes. for that all this slow the steps will help you we don't know it uh, all 100% people uh, like students will do it or not but who knows some some day someone might do it and i'll be glad that <laughs> someone is doing it yes yes, yes but for now at timing at least i am doing that mm. and i hope i'll continue that 
again janma janmantar so it just goes on there is no end to it i have seen you uh, practice uh, in vidya kshetra at home also i'm sure uh, you're practicing yes. so overall uh, on an average uh, in one day how much time do you spend with music how much practice spending music uh, that's again uh, subconscious mind when there is music in your subconscious mind even though i'm talking to you it's music only mm. so i'm just thinking about music again i tell the same thing to my students mm. it's not only about the class think about music mm. think about those things whatever we discuss think about that mm. only when you think when you go home and think you are again in that class you are again in that atmosphere so that is what is required mm. the environment the atmosphere is required that's why i mentioned that vidya kshetra is giving that environment mm. and i hope that there will be lot of institutes like this which will support music which will create such environment mm. it's not a, about one person i can't you know just uh, plant the seeds of music here mm. because all the teachers are cooperating all uh, faculty is like okay you sing and uh, it's okay we can perform here we do navratri we do all those things so that's how it evolves yes. it's not about one person mm. so sadhana is one person yes. you go cut all the ties and just do sadhana after that it's the community mm. so it should be yes. so important that uh, what you are saying is uh, that the environment has to be the right yes. one so when we provide an environment to the child for example at vidya kshetra we want we look at kalas as mainstream mm. it is uh, in ordinary schools it is uh, yes. music is extra curricular yes uh, so we don't want that uh, a child to carry that music is extra curricular we want to therefore this year we have uh, redone the timetable yes, yes, and yes. given a large um, amount, of, know, amount time. of time for uh, children to be with the kala teachers kala, yes so how how can you know vidya kshetra is one example but how do we get um, music to mainstream you know in in schools yes. uh, in ordinary schools outside schools so uh, here will... uh, yeah we need to look at the main force main driving force what is it the government mm. or the education board we can't tell uh, schools to you know uh, introduce hindustani music or they just want okay music there is music but what kind of music how how much you know effect it has on the kid yes. so if the education board tells that okay we need such uh, genres of music they will hire school they will just follow and later parents also will follow there is no need to uh, be forcing them you need to learn this you need to learn that it will just get in that syllabus mm. slowly it will start uh, getting in, uh, incorporated in that syllabus right. now why why it is because the education board itself is like you know okay music ko side mein rakho mm. this is it this is it we have to uh, make students ready you know for this okay exam mm. music mm. again the music will stay there only <laughs> but that's what i i feel uh, first that thing should change mm. and automatically everything will fall into places mm. we don't have to go out there and tell okay uh, do this uh, ye music aap isme rakho right. or uh, have this tabla and uh, this music uh, curriculum mm. even drums whatever it is all forms is good i am telling you there is no form of music which is bad mm. is the person who is following it makes that uh, field good or bad mm. we have amazing legends keyboardists mm. uh, horn players uh, if if you just go through the history amazing mm. i mean like there are legends are produced everywhere right. is just the way we approach the um, field whatever field mm. scientists they are all great people mm. it just what you produce what the way you think right. so finally it falls uh, uh, in, uh, in the hands of that person mm. and what is that again the upbringing is again important mm. so the culture is very important right. so here why hindustani music or classical music because carnatic music is also there are lot uh, lot of genres in indian music itself we we have we don't know i don't know right. i just know classical music but there are a lot of great forms of music there are a lot of instruments which are extinct now right. there we are it's like animals like extinct animals now there are a lot of uh, instruments which are extinct we don't know forget about students forget about parents i don't know mm. but uh, there are uh, why why is that mm. because there is no community which is supporting it mm. why is that because the education board or the government is not supporting it obviously people will run behind money mm. we can't blame them mm. that you know, what what they see is like okay we need to we need money now and how does that money come through these things mm. if you just start producing instruments no one will buy 
who is going to teach those instruments right. who is going to teach uh, folk songs you no know? and we don't get money through that so forget about it mm-hmm. so i think so uh, taking a bold step the way vidya kshetra we have taken that is very much important mm-hmm. and again vidya kshetra is evolving that's the best part mm-hmm. because after few years we started we discussed and we were like okay we need more time because we have to not because about the music it was about the culture because we need to tell that are hamare sath guru ke sath zyada time bitana hai that's why we need this it's not about zyada uh, raag karne hai not because i have not i need to teach them more songs because we need to have that interaction because i am not passing on information and that won't happen information i can just tell them okay read this book the more they are here with me these things will change automatically change and i don't know how it will change they don't know how it will change but it will change mm. so that's the best part mm. what i feel yes. <laughs> to uh, what i get uh, in summary is uh, at least you know where they are studying dry academic subjects mm. at least introduce uh, uh, yes. uh, you know some form of music mm. and then slowly they will connect with it children will connect with it and music is essential you know it is an essential part of becoming a fully rounded personality mm. i think just like all work and no play makes jack yes, a dull boy yes, yes. so i think no music means no uh, colors in your life yes, yes, so yes. music is that very important element which which will help you connect with um, you know various higher elements yes definitely yeah so uh, i feel that uh, every school must take this take up this uh, yes, step definitely. and introduce music uh, in their curriculum yes and they should take it and take it seriously yes and they should have maybe exams or whatever if they feel that that way they can engage students yeah. better let them have right. something good right, right. Uh, rather than just uh, give 45 minutes or half an hour with guitar or with mm-hmm. drums or with vocal anything but introduce it properly so that in any form of music you will develop that culture yes. if if the culture is good you will see any form of music any form of subject in in that way itself Correct. so the lens is better it's clean mm-hmm. so you'll see that subject in a better way yes so it should not remain extra curricular yeah so when That's it becomes it. mainstream because for some children it is mainstream mm. you know some child might be good in math yeah. but some child has the music potential in yes, him yes. and we cannot suppress it so yes. therefore we need to give equal, uh, equal opportunities yes, yes. to every child and i feel children children adapt very fast mm. that they are this like sponge mm. <laughs> they'll just take it we feel because we have we feel that you know we have seen humne zyada duniya dekhi hai that's how we tell and we tell them okay you do this much do this. no they are okay to take that that much amount of you know not stress what do you call that much tension little bit tension is okay mm. you need to be in tension to be you know uh, so i guess we need to tell them okay music karo maths karo music karo. it's possible mm. it is possible now when parents or the school itself tells music ko side mein rakho uh, physics is important physics is important this theory is important obviously that's again a culture we are developing Correct. we are telling the student that this is Less small or this is big this is what life is that's how it is happening mm. so i guess the education system should change and it will change definitely yes. because this this one step has come up vidya kshetra has come up definitely there is a scope for change right and people are uh, wanting that change mm-hmm. that hame kuch alag chahiye right. and it will obviously uh, take this may your words yes, come yeah. through uh, i anna. i would pray that it yes, happens yes definitely and uh, coming back to your forte of music i have seen that uh, each kalakar for example pandit bhimsen joshi yes. he sang bhajans and uh, khyal in khyal style he adapted mm. bhajans and uh, he had he developed his own unique style and then uh, pandit jasraj ji he had his own style of jugal yes. bandi jugal bandi yeah, yeah. and uh, our uh, own vidya bhushan he also sang dasara dasara dasa sahitya yes. he brought it alive yeah. so like this uh, each kalakar uh, has a unique style which uh, you know emerges for him yeah. so what is your unique style is it emerging what is close yeah, to your heart definitely because the names you took they have done lot of sadhana and it it was not that they planned it that right. i will sing bhajan and people will like it i'll sing khyal and people will like it it was their sadhana which people liked it and it just happened and they were okay i will do this i will do that uh, jasraj ji didn't start jugal bandi he had plans no aisa nahi kuch right. nahi tha maybe it just you know that moment he felt okay if they sing it will sound good 
Jasrangi is one male and one female uh, thing. Yes. Uh, it it leads it needs a lot of practice. Mm. So it, that's what I told. I mean, like it's again about your sadhana. It's a, about the maturity you have in your mm. knowledge, uh, in your field. So maybe for me, uh, I, I have not uh, you know restricted myself that I'm going to do only this or that. I'm just practicing, mm. and wherever it takes, I'll just flow. Mm. Only thing is that I need to be in this music field. Yes, that's it. Because as I told, music nothing is bad in music. It's only how I will present it. Okay. That's it. Mm-hmm. So I feel this is this is it. Yes, Sana. <laughs> so I think we've had a very good conversation. I hope so. And <laughs> yes. uh, what I pray uh, is that you know you reach the heights of uh, your sadhana Thank and you. uh, make a big name for yourself in Thank the you. field of music. Yes. This will be my deepest prayers to you, Raghunandanana. Thank you for spending yes. time with us today. Mm. And wish you all the best. Yes, thank you. Definitely. Thank you. This is what I say because Vidya Chitra makes a difference. Because people think about you. Just now, you are praying for me. Why? I mean like, I am just asking. Because that is culture. Hai, mm-hmm. And that is what is spreading here. Mm-hmm. This environment is required everywhere in all the parts of the country. Mm-hmm. And hope so it happens for the good of music for the good of nation for the good of the world that's Definitely. it that's all we can pray for not for myself or anyone so yes, thank you thank you very much thank you so much yeah. namaste namaste ah.